Hi, this is Ron Williams again. Coming to you to help you out, hopefully, with a problem that I'm having with my bike that I've got corrected now, which is CD error on my K1200 LT uh, 2006 BMW. Um, on this bike, I bought this bike used. The radio works fine. Um, the speakers all work fine. Uh, I have a, a CD error when I turn my CD on. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. The factory CD player does play a CD if you can get it to turn on. As long as you leave it playing, it stays on. But if you have to turn the bike off to refuel or you know go eat or whatever you're getting off the bike for most of the time if you pull your cd you know just turn the bike off pull the cd out or whatever it'll go back to cd error state so let me show you what i'm talking about right now i have to get my glasses on here real quick okay so right now we're looking at the dashboard and it's on my radio station 99.9 now if i hit my cd button to ask my cd player to come on it does that CD error. Okay, um, my my CD player works. The one that's here, this is the factory CD player, and then there's a six disc CD changer that is usually mounted down here in the right rear saddlebag. This bike did not come with it. I don't know if the original owner of the bike had it, took it out because it took up too much room in the bag and never put it back in, or or what the case is. But a company called iSimple um, makes a kit for the BMW 3 and 5 series, and I guess it also fits the Mini or something like that, um, make a kit for this. And I'm going to show you how this is done, because I couldn't find any decent videos on this online at all last week when I was doing my research. So here's what I came up with, guys. Okay, this kit, which is ISBM72, for a BMW it fits um, basically this is the the application chart for it so it fits a BMD, BMW 3 series 5 series the Z3 Z4 Z5 and the Mini Cooper we don't really care about all of those but the uh, connectors for the 3 series and the 5 series actually are the same connectors that come in the actual motorcycle itself which is where my thumb is at that's the motorcycle side of the wiring and you can see where it's plugged in right here this piece where my thumb is at it's like a little printed circuit board and it's also an electrical connector has a short little lead that goes into this white box the white box is fairly small I want to say three inches by three inches um, kind of like a real miniature alarm system is what it what the box reminds me of and then it has um, uh, a programmer board and I'll zoom in on this for a minute just in case any of you buy this it's in the instruction manual on how to flip the switches to program it but for the BMW K bike um, switches 1 and 2 are up switches 3 and 4 are down switches 5, 6 and 7 are up and then switch number 8 will be down um, plug the connector into it literally just plug this into the bike this connector right here is just an extension cord you can see they give you 20 feet um, so you can remote this if you want and then it comes up and actually just connects right into your ipod um, i had a friend of mine give me this ipod i've been on android forever so it's, i got to get used to using um, the uh get this armrest out of the way um, I'm used to using Android devices, so I'm not used to this iPod stuff, but it's not too big of a deal. So basically, here's what you're going to do to do this. You're literally, it's going to take minutes to plug in. How you wire the iPod is what can take all your time. So you're, like I said, you're going to plug this in. You're going to plug it into the bike, which is two connectors right there. Okay, they fit right in. You're going to put your connector on. You're going to put your iPod on. Okay, I went real fast with that. Then you're going to go back up to here to your bike, and you're going to hit your CD. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit on my radio so you guys can hear it actually working. Um, you're going to hit CD at once. You're going to get your CD error, or you're going to get your CD to come on, either one. 
if you hit CD again, so pushing it once gives me CD error, pushing it again gives me what looks like CD1, and then right now the last song I listened to was on track nine. Now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna access the ninth song in my playlist or, the, or any song that I highlight. Okay, right now I'm in the, the song playlist under W, and so you see it listed in alphabetical order. Um, it'll, if you just wait a few seconds, it'll actually start auto-playing by itself. Um, or you'll, you have to skip it. Now, these functions still, still work with the iPod. The volume up, volume down, seek, forward and backwards still operate. So right now it hasn't started playing yet, but if I want to pick a song on my iPod, this is a song by Aaron Tippin called Whole Lot of Love. Just happened to be the one my finger touched. Okay. This is what's now coming through my audio system. I'm turning my volume up. Okay, now once I start writing, if I want to go to the next song, I simply hit next. You see it go to track 11. And if all goes well, the next song will come on. Sometimes there's a delay between when you skip and when the music comes on, and I'm not sure why. There it goes. So let's say I don't want to listen to that song. I just hit my seek button again. Now it'll go to track 12. And then it'll start playing the next song. Now I've got... I'm going to put that on a mute real quick. I've got uh, roughly four, I think 450 songs on the iPod right now, and um, I haven't figured out the easy way to get through the playlist, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be mounting my iPod, this piece, I'm actually going to mount it on the dashboard so that I can just scroll through with my finger and pick whatever I want to listen to. Um, but I thought one of the cool things is, is even when the CD player on these bikes work, What's a CD last? 45 minutes to an hour if you're lucky before you're starting to repeat it. When you go on a ride all day and you get your CD player to work, the last thing you want to do is have to shut it down or keep changing the CD because if you change the CD, it's going to go back into error mode. This way, it doesn't take up a lot of space in that saddlebag. 450 songs, it's going to take a long time to get tired of this playlist. Um, and I have the ability to change and it's not going to skip because an iPod is electronically stored, so no matter how rough the road gets, we're not gonna hear the CD skipping. Um, hang on just a second. Okay, so let's say that I'm on the road, and I remember how this works here. Here we go, here's the playlist. Let's say that I'm on the road and I wanna change my uh, my playlist, or just a different CD, right now I'm under general songs. Okay, so it's all listed in alphabetical order, but I can go over to my albums, and here's my albums. Okay, so let's say I wanna to listen to Tex Ritter. I can just hit that while I'm driving, and then pick a song. All right. And it's still showing track 12 on the dashboard. That's normal because there truly is no track. It's just simply seeking to the next song. still in my heart. So you see how that works? I remember. Alright. So now I'm starting to get into the redundant stuff, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. Hopefully this guy's helps you out. Um, it was a huge success to me. I love riding the bike with uh, a playlist this large. I don't have to worry about the CD player uh, going into error state anymore. Anymore, I leave my uh, 
the CD that I want to listen to if I want to in the CD player and when it comes on it comes on if not you know I just run iPod uh, or the radio so if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to give me a holler um, I gave you the part number I bought this kit off of eBay uh, brand new and it wasn't that much money it was actually really inexpensive um, I want to say it was less than 50 bucks for the uh, install kit and then the iPod so have a good day guys if you uh, have any questions give me a holler 951-579-7146 Ron with Mobile Fix Automotive thank you